ether, the cosmic universal fluid that fulfills everything, according to ancient Greek scientists. For the ancient Greeks, ether, A-E-T-H-E-R, or E-T-H-E-R, was one of the primary deities to be able to better understand its quality, quote-unquote, we should immerse ourselves in Aristotle, Euripides, Empedocles, Plato, and many other ancient Greek philosophers, mainly, however, in the Orphic texts and the Orphic theogony. In summary, we have the following. The characteristics and properties of ether are penetrating, swift, coming from heaven, pure fire, light, nat nature, infinite, and circulatory. Time gave birth to ether, chaos, Erebus, and then the cosmic egg, from which Phanis, the manifested theogony of Jerome and Helicanicus, and our universe. Erebus is a place of passage and therefore does not participate in world-making, according to Iliad and Odyssey. And chaos constitutes the whole of the continent of the cosmic egg, theogony of Jerome and Helicanicus. Consequently, our world and our entire universe exists in the embrace of the ether. Zeus is also called ether, Orphic excerpts 28. So according to the entire Orphic theology, one of the properties of ether is birth. Quote, and an incorruptible mind, king, is the imperishable ether, for with it he speaks and hears everything, and there is no voice, no cry, no blow, and no rumor that escapes the ears of the mighty Cronon, Cronion. So then is the mind of the head of Zeus. End quote. Consequently, the ether has a complete perception of itself from end to end, plus it has intelligence. All creations that exist within the ether are bound in a mighty golden cord from the ether. That is, all creation are connected, all creations are connected to each other with some form of rope, quote-unquote, so that every oscillation at one point will at some point reach the farthest one. Therefore, everything will be affected in some way, such as communicating vessels or a stretched sail. It could be described as a universal hymen that connects everything together. Where there is birth, there is time, Orphic anecdotal quote 13. In other words, since the ether can give birth, and it does go give birth due to its many other properties, but also because, as we saw above, it's identified with Jupiter, with uh, Zeus, sorry, then it turns into time. But in order for something to be born, it also needs space. More simply, ether can be identified with space-time. Stephen Hawking's The Chronicle of Time says, Ether can easily be identified in many key points with the prana of the Indians, the ka of the ancient Egyptians, the chi of the Chinese, and the organ of William Reich, etc. Thus, at least on our earth, we perceive the ether flowing through it like the underground river or spring, but without being able to identify with them, it originates and is related only to uh, the earth, but also to the everything that lives, evolves, breathes from it, and with it. For Taoists, it is a cosmic breath that, uh, that animates and permeates everything that makes up nature. It enriches man with energy and mental clarity. Its eternal energy is contained in man and in everything alive, animate, and material. More generally, it's the cosmic breath that permeates everything and is everywhere. It's the energy that fills everything. It is divine itself, and it is the very nature of the universe. It visits us from the heavens, and we meet it every day. We contain with it, we contain it within us, and we emit it everywhere. It permeates everything and is renewed by everything. It is the music of the world, and the world is its audience. It is what vibrates us and nourishes us. It has always existed and will continue to exist. The ether has been an object of study and understanding since ancient times. Over the centuries it has been accepted, it has been claimed as non-existent, it has been proven mathematically, it has been challenged by physics. Finally, some who shot it down eventually revised their thoughts, like, for example, Albert Einstein. 
this I've translated for you from a Greek article. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.